Hello everybody, it's me, Roku, back with some more gameplay. This video is going to be on High Elo Darius gameplay, but before we get into that, I want to real quick make an announcement. I've started posting videos of other games on my secondary channel, so if you're a fan of this format of videos where I play and talk for hours and hours, then go check that channel out. I'm currently doing a playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077, and after I'm fully done with the game, which I'll be posting episodes on the channel, I'll do a full-on review where I give my thoughts on the game three years after it's been released. I'd very much appreciate it if you check the channel out and let me know what you guys think. I'm sure you guys can agree that sometimes everybody needs a break from League of Legends. Anyway, enjoy the video. Peace out. <clears throat> I'm not going to rank an ability yet. If she walks into my middle range, I'm going to go for a W and then try to run her down. If not, then Q should suffice. <clears throat> I was trained to kill since I could walk. Yeah. My destination. I'll try to play slow. Does it seem like she's taking the bait? I had to wait for my RW, so as to not prolong the all-in. I did have Ignite on me, so there's a chance she could have actually killed me there. A fair kill. Let's get out of here, then. I thought she'd, like, flash into me or somewhere else, right? Oh. I mean, I'll honestly take that, because I didn't even have my bounty up by that point. In. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's three kills to me, and one kill and assist gold to them. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Whew. I hope the wave isn't too messed up. I, I think it is, right? Because she didn't push the wave out. She basically just ran straight at me, so she dragged all my minions back in the lane. So that could be a little problematic, but... I mean, I still have a solid lead advantage up on her, without even counting the gold leads, so I'm not too upset about that. Oh, good. Let's shove in. I have my orders. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious that she stood like. At the very edge of her shroud <laughs> to avoid damage. Man, they got a decently annoying amount of invisibility on the Akali and the Kiana. Oh, they saw me. Right. I doubt they'll actually gank me with Lilia Akali, but if the Kiana's involved, then it'll be uh, an easy kill for them. these bad boys up. Oh, it's warded, okay. I thought I already died. Cause I I think she warded some of the one of these bushes in that fight I killed her originally. But it should have gone out by now no. Man, my XP lead is <laughs> not looking as significant now there. We're both farming at an even pace. Oh, 
Okay. She kind of ran herself in the corner. If she literally ran at her turret, she would have gotten away, by the way. But, I mean, had to ghost up. Her abilities were on cooldown. I really just wanted the good trade, but she gave me the kill by going up. I mean, for some reason, she keeps trying to think she could use the alcove to weasel her way out of situations. So, again, I stand by my opinion that the alcove was an entirely negative change for top lane that did nothing to make the gameplay more interesting. But still. Let me think here. I want that damage, boy. They're all squishy one shotable, so if I could get into a rampage type situation with Ghost, Noxium, Might, Flash, I should be able to kill most of them, or all of them. With the exception of the Kiana and the Akali, because they're going to be invisible, right? So they're tough to put down. These guys are free food if I'm powered up. And Lilia should be easy to kill. Dares does quite well against um, Lilia type champs. Those are all gone. Let's just hold the wave here. Kind of wanted to, to freeze, but those minions were too low. And then Melee just went out of the way to kill a low SHP minion. <coughs> they will regret opposing me. Okay, call his mid. Let's just shove this in, since she's staying. Death by my hand. Okay, let's get a plate here. Get my Triforce gold. Nice. Okay, let's recall and get a Triforce. Why should go into my center? I have my orders. Man, that was unwise. Yeah, with us putting Lilia behind early and then her not even getting kills after being put behind, she's never going to be like a threat to me. <clears throat> the worst thing that like, she does to us is just sleep us, right? Her CC. Her damage sucks right now. Her mobility doesn't really come into comp, like, you know, come into play without her getting some stacks already. To sum it up, um... We can basically just um, 2v1 with impunity. So, yeah, topside is officially secured. Sorry for the lack of coherent commentary. But, um, yeah, IRL do be impacting me. It should be a kill. Never mind, because it's overextending. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. He did not have damage to, like, one shot the Lilia there. If he just left it, that'd be fine, but... He kind of went for it. Yeah. You don't go RWQ against these kind of champs. You go, you go WQ after E. That's better for the short trade. Because this way, you hit both the W and the Q, which are the main damage components. Whereas if you do RWQ, they just dash out instantly, right? This is how it's done against Gnar, for example. Champions that have a dash, basically, right? Hmm. I feel so terrible. Yo, where are you going, man? Oh, 
At least we get her off the turret. If the Kiana was missing, I kind of wouldn't stick around here. But I can take care of the Liliana Akali, so I don't really care too much. <clears throat> okay. Trying to conserve some mana. Alright. Gotta put the game volume up a bit. Uh, there you go. You guys like that? Ever since I got these like better headphones, I can more so tolerate um, higher volumes in games. Before I used to use like a pair of gaming headphones I bought like like before I even moved out to university. <laughs> uh, yeah. A disgustingly great trade here. Trade of kills. What? Dude, I hate Kiana with passion, man. Disgusting character. Like, what was that, man? The whole pit? Just don't fight on your walls, bro! <laughs> they will regret opposing me. Man, those two kills were so juicy and I didn't get them. <sighs> happens, happens. Yeah, that was not the best idea, was it? Yeah, you can go for her. Surely, because this gets her alone, right? Ooh. All you had to do was right click backwards for a split second to dodge the bubble, CJ. They put that in San Andreas, it wouldn't be a, a timeless meme now, would it? Dude, we're just like cleaning them up all across the board here. I mean, our bot lane is not doing the, the best, but you know, the muscle came in and sorted the enemy bot lane out, you know? So now they can't do anything either. NASA's mid is somehow doing well. <clears throat> yeah. I don't have good memories of having Nasus mid. It's like, I think it was one of the recordings where I had a good Nasus mid, but a while before that, I had like this terrible Nasus that just cost us the entire game. And ever since that point, I, I look at this pick with like skepticism. And by cost the game, I don't mean just he was doing well and then he made one mistake. I mean, every single thing the guy did in the whole match was a mistake. There's not a single way he contrib contributed to that game. Yo, shoot the Kiana. There we go. That's no damage at all. Oh, they have theft. Okay, I'll see you boys in the next match. Peace out. Alrighto, let's get into this matchup against Tom Genge Top. Tom Genge Top is an annoying matchup, but if you keep your fundamentals on straight, it is quite possible to beat him up and kill him. The main thing that you gotta keep in mind is that, number one, you do actually beat Tom Kench in meat fights. So, you gotta go into this matchup like as a confident player, because a lot of players just go into it like, Oh, Tom Kench is overpowered, and they just die to him, so yeah. Now, the other important thing, which is honestly more important than what I just told you, is to dodge his Q. The thing about his Q is that not only does it do a lot of damage, but it also heals him. 
So the worst thing you can do is give Tom Kinch free cues in the middle of the lane. You gotta just sit behind your minions. And the thing about Tom Kinch's Q, unlike a Mundo Hatchet or something, is that it's practically impossible to dodge it, okay? I'm not too sure how the hitbox of it is, but it's so wide that if he just points it anywhere here, it will basically just land, okay? So you do not want to give it to him to, like, you don't want to try to dodge it. You just want to either sit behind minions or out of its range so he can't hit you with it if you're in that kind of situation. Now in the middle of a fight, you can try to do some tricks while running through him or something to maybe trick him into missing it, right? But that's more so like a desperation slash all-in type situation. In the middle of the lane, you just want to trade well and stay behind your minions like I'm doing right now. Nicely and securely. Three stacks. Kind of went out there. Good. Well, not the greatest. But we did get his flash. And traded him down to like a very low amount of health. Let's heal up. If I flash this Q stun. I might have been able to pull that off. My destination is clear. I do not get that. <laughs> Should have flashed. Well, she actually didn't get hit by my Q. She just took so much damage from the minions there. <laughs> she arguably moved in like the worst possible way to like avoid minion damage because she got hit by everything there. So nice. Two kills. Double buff. Quite useful. Now, one last ditch effort you can do to beat Tom Kinchin all in is obvi obviously just go Divine Sunder, right? Against these kinds of beefy matches where they just like tank up and they kill you quickly anyway, Divine is your ultimate solution because it allows for you to like um, watch your Volibear die. That was something. It is what it is. I'll try to play this into a freeze. So Tom can only farm with his Q. Oh, he missed that. Nice. No cannon. Good thing. Strength above all. They will regret opposing me. I position my WQ so that even though I was stunned, I could still like um, do it both and kill him. Nice. Let's go for a Triforce here. I feel like I'm feeling Triforce here, guys. I'm feeling Triforce here. Stay alert. It's gonna suck against. Whoa, whoa! What is oh, that? Sivir? What? Bro, I, I liked her old splash better, man. What? I don't know, because in her old splash, she looked kind of like 
edgy and mysterious, but not magic. Here, she just looks like, oh, inspirational. Oh, look at her at the sun, or whatever. I'm not going to analyze the artistic direction that I disagree with, but, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the Triforce is going to make it so we can't really fight Tom Kinch that well if we do die a few times. But on the other side, we'll be able to start chomping on the rest of their team. Because they're all squishies. Right. Also, I should probably slow down. Come here. Well, at least you got the dragon. We can't really fight him here. Well, we can we can fight and kill him, but he can basically just disagree. Okay, Riot. Oh, we <sighs> Whoever coded Tom Kinch's Q needs to it deserves a raise, honestly. Let's give him a raise. T like give him a promotion and get him out of the department. Make sure his hands never touch a keyboard again. God. Make no mistakes. Okay. He actually held me in his tummy long enough for Noxymite to disappear. Which is a relatively I'm not going to say a difficult trick, because nothing about Tom Kinch is difficult, but it is a trick Tom Kinch can actually do that's quite effective against Darius. In any case, we get the shove in, and we kill him. Okay, there we go. It took so long, I kind of messed up everything there. My destination is clear. We do get the kill, and he does get executed. And the byproduct that's actually pretty good out of that is that I get all the plate gold solo, so I can just buy Triforce straight up. So, despite the Voli dying there being an accident, I'm quite happy about the outcome. I like this outcome better than had he lived, you know? The wasting my sums for a zero two Tom doesn't sound that worth it. Oh, my mouse. Hello. Just stop moving, man. I do not What's wrong with you? Why'd you stop moving? You're on eight percent charge. This is gonna freeze. Let's slow push a big old wave in. Let's freeze that. got it, buddy. You got it. Didn't, doesn't he just solo her in this case? Nice. Good. Okay. Let's just get the wave in. I already lost, like, two minions already, including a cannon.
<sighs> My bad. My bad. If I land that Q, I kill him there, by the way. <sighs> His ult is just enough to make your stacks go down. Which is really annoying. What boost saving get here? Do I need tenacity into this? They have so many knockups, it's not even that worth it. Nah, I'm gonna sit. rush into my stacks. Rush into it like a lion. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to give Tom good fights anymore. AKA just, I'm gonna respect him on their turret. Cause his ult is way too cheesy for me to cook combo. And they target him and I don't get the play game. <laughs> nice! Make Good. My destination is clear. I don't want to head mid and kill Yon because I'm getting bored of fighting Tom Kench. And trust me, it does get boring. Never really, appreciate. really boring. He had to bubble up and then flash away. Because if he flashed and then bubble, it would be too late. Try for his attack speed, baby. Good. Let's try to get these jungle camps. So I can afford my Sterax in one go. What is that? Bro, that is arguably the worst gank attempt I've seen. He jumped behind me like before anyone was even in range to follow up. You gotta have more patience, buddy. If he just waited for the Nidalee, they might have gone me. Yeah. Kind of like that. They just waited for me to farm. They got me like that. Don't you guys love it when I analyze like a bad case happening and then I walk right into it the second later? <laughs> oh. Just give it a pent at this point. Yeah. Gotta focus on playing while commentating, honestly. Because I can only just commentate later. Stay alert. Right after the play is done, whereas I can't play properly if I'm commentating during it. Let's focus up. This is getting quite annoying. We're ahead. I gotta just get into a team fight and slaughter everybody and then put this game to rest. Not have it drag on for too long. Not saying that they're, like, there's any chance of them winning here, because we're just way too ahead, right? But there is a chance that this game is like a 35-40 minute match that just annoys every single human being that's in it, right? And no one wants that. Let's get it over quick. Mm-hmm. 
I, have I feel terrible about that. I hate Tom Kench! Alright. I think I've found the way I'm playing like this. I'm just tilted by Tom. <sighs> Why'd I have to do psychology on myself in the middle of the league match? Dude, some champs just tilt me, man. I can't help it. Some champions just tilt me. And Tom Kench is just one of them, right? So, so dumb, man. Uh, just autos me, and that's the, the utility of his champion. It's achieved by auto attacks. Something like a train of mirror auto attacks, where you can do something against him at least. Nope, can't do anything against him. Um, I don't have a flash here. Okay, let's go. I opened him, he said. Let's go. Do you still have the server move speed? Yeah, we do. Nice. We ran them down. Good. It resets now after every kill, right? Yeah. Good. We get the turret as well. Okay. That's perfect. My ult reset it off of the Rakan. Things would have been more glorious, but it is what it is, so let's get out of here. Just us three, and if the Rakan picks anyone up, they can just get on him and kill him. Gonna go for, I think, Tabius here. Don't know, Demas played, kinda. Don't know exactly want to go for Death Dance here. One more move speed. I'd have to do a lot of chasing against this team. It's best when you go bot lane here. Noxus will rise. We can kill him together. She'll have her ult up. If he's still there. That's it. Pocket Darius. Uh, do I have emotes on this account? No, I don't. I don't emote. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's not good! <laughs> I didn't even see the gold! Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got her. Or him. Come on. Nice Sterax. Good. Is she ghost? Yeah. All ADC are taking ghosts nowadays. Yeah, it's not fine. <laughs> the battle of the century. Nice. You know this is a sad thing? That doesn't even give her the gold for Novara's quick play. <laughs> she she got more gold from just waiting and the duration of the the dragon being taking rather than the dragon itself. Because of how little gold Drake gives upon being killed. A little terrible, but I mean I don't know. I'm not gonna advocate for more gold being given to bot side, that's for sure. No assists. I work alone. Your trickery will not get to me. Make no Let's get her. Get the rest of them. 
Oh, well, the rest are already gone. Good. Let's burn down. Let's do this quickly. Oh, they have left. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back up against Gwen again. Let's get right into it. The enemy team has got a bunch of annoying abilities and existences. Syndra completely outranges us. Bard, if roaming properly, can be a complete nightmare to deal with. Poppy should be able, to, uh, easy to kill, but then she can also ult us away from fights, which might throw you know our team fight off quite a bit. And the Sivir is just too darn fast with Ghost and Ultimate. So we're not looking at a great match here, if I'm being honest, but we can still do some cooking at the very least. The uh, the voices in my head are telling me to go for a side lane playstyle. I know how much you guys love that, but I don't know. If things dictate that I have to go for that, then I'll go for it, but... I feel like in this match, I'm just going to have to run around my Nunu and my Ari, just like following up on their plays. Because I got the critical amount of damage to make this three duo a deadly combo. Or trio, right? Me plus this duo. Whatever. Okay, let's get back to top. We got Poppy Flash, that's good. <clears throat> huh. Funny part is I killed her the same exact way last game. Wonderful. I get poppy level dude. Ah, <sighs> fun, fun, fun. Doesn't much matter. I should be able to hold this lane around here when it's back. I can one them. She won't. They won't have a ignite to work with, so I might be able to actually. Definitely need level three though. That's a must. Okay, let's try to get it here. No puppy to deal with this time, though. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go get ourselves. Our I think I think Sterex is better here, but for the purposes of being. A side lane demigod. I might have to go for Triforosterics and then Holbreaker. Holbreaker is going to be so huge this game due to their mixed damage. Dude, God, how is this ever going to. Ah. Come on! Man, that was a mess and a half, wasn't it? Oof. They made it work though, so that's good. <clears throat> Let's get another ward in here. Bro, I wasn't even aiming for you with that one. Exploit every weakness. I 
I should be able to one combo run into third. My Q. Okay, whatever. I was so wait, what? Is the Q would have both killed her and given me the health to survive that turret shot? So I am so annoyed by that. Did I do my EQ like improperly there or something? I don't know. Whatever. Not a good death to give over at all. They will regret opposing me. Can I cyber bully her? Let's find out. Man, the range of that, they actually juggled me pretty well. I want to get five stacks out of the Gwen and then one shot the Poppy. But the Poppy ran into me at the right like, at the right second to nullify that play. <sighs> Let's just stop trying to make plays, man. Too impatient to just let things go naturally, overforce things. Should I go for a freeze? I should set up a kill. Carve a path. Freeze like this takes a bunch of time to set up, so nothing much to really commentate about. I do not tolerate Good. An enemy has been slain. In a bit, so she can't find me here. these good with overwhelming force <laughs> well let's hold it for as long as we can slash want to Rest. 
Oh, she teleported down there. Bro, what am I going to do? How'd she teleport down there? It's ten minutes. Were they fighting around like a turret or something? Yeah. I got the Syndra here too. Stop me from getting anything. Wonderful. The second I got a good freeze to just win the lane single handedly, <laughs> she just TPs and gets like. Killer two for the team. Let's get this the wave and recall for Triforce. Actually, it's better to just recall her now. Go and be back, so if I go in here, I'll be fighting her while she has her Riftmaker, I'm guessing. Triforce against that. Go. Try gauge. I'm gonna have to go for a Merc Treads this match. It's a rough one to build for, that's for sure. Because all their odd tech damage is the the Sivir, right? They got a bunch of CC. Hey, yeah, Merc Treads is better. Not Tubbies. She actually used it before backing off. Let's get the ward. Let's get freeze again. Also did the cancel of the like the ult and then you auto and you get the kill with the auto but the ult still cancels and you get it again or resets not cancels that's a better word for it man when you're popping up triforce feels so great Get out of here. That should be enough for Sterex. Perfect. <laughs> Just <laughs> got Sterex off of one recall. You love to see it. Cowardice. Let's get back to it, I guess. Don't have sums. So the thing is, I really need my sums to do anything here. Even if I have Stride Breaker, without sums, I'm so useless against their team. Like, I just can't get on top of them. I can't, like, reach them at all. So this is really tough for me to play without my sums. Let's get this quickly and just run down there. That's what she's doing. Here as well. Just, just watch him. Just watch him. Why don't you? The thing is, if he just hooked here, Bard is gonna juke that, and he walks into my hook, right? 
So that would have been like a zoning hook at worst, or at best, you would have just caught the bard, right? So, gotta be faster on your trigger, big boy. Gotta be a quick draw. Let's get the waves. <sighs> They're doing Herald? Yes, they are. If I can maybe get on top of the pop, I should be able to one combo her. Then eliminate the Gwen. Woo! She's too fast for me. She actually smited there for the move speed to get away from me. <laughs> so that's something, isn't it? Noxus. Honestly, that wouldn't even have landed. I was just being too hopeful. Oh, 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 this is bad. Oh, you're so worthless. Hook, uh, CC. <laughs> Whatever, it was unrealistic to expect him to hook the Syndra there. Right? There's no way he could have done that. I mean, he could have, but that would have been him overperforming, right? I'm flaming him for not overperforming. So that's not that's not right. Man, I was I was popping off there. Oof. Oof. Let's get some water. My destination is clear. Just got a bounty on me too. After the last one got collected. Man, I really want to go for a hole breaker. <laughs> At this point. Just <laughs> ditch the team. I work alone. I work by myself. Stay alert. <clears throat> Lenius moment, though. Gonna go for mid turret here. Should be free. Even if the Glen's under, I can just brute force it and kill her. It's not good. All they gotta do is survive. I can take the mid turret if they do. Should be kill. Good. Strength above all. Yep, I'm gonna go hole breaker. Let's do it. I feel more powerful already. Put these stats, boy. Oh, give him back. Nice. I think I'm strong enough to just um, cook here, regardless of the fact that I just wasted gold on something that wouldn't help me at all in team fights. It seems Poppy's not even going for the dragon. Very well, I'll match her here. 
stop this little thing before it gets too many turrets. Or a turret. She could just ult me here and get the turret. That's that's something she could actually do. I'm fine with just letting her roam around. Okay, let's get in here. There's no dodging that is there. Well, we got an Ari cooking, so I don't think I have to do much. Good. Unfortunate. I'll go for the top turret then. I'll first start with these jump camps, of course. This wave, then the grump. They will regret opposing me. <laughs> you little critter. Not good. We went for a 2 5. Yeah, we seriously are extended there. Should have just waited for the team, or should have just not gone for it because their team was here. Could have split down here. Bad. They get the Baron now. They get the Baron. Don't ping me, you moron. I'm actually doing something this game instead of just standing around and waiting for other players to play the game. I didn't mute everything. Oh, there we go. I found the new <laughs> interface. I mean, honestly, the, the old thing of just clicking all the three of them was way more satisfying. Mute self. Mute old comms. I ought to do that. Cinder's gonna be such a problem for me. By my hand. All right, surely this is like a huge play for us, right? Well, two for three, so that's good, right? And I did that without even using sums, so it's even more huge if you think about it. Like, you know, we did that without sums. Imagine when we do have sums. Ooh. We also got a level six and level three ult. Good hook. But unfortunately, it's completely unimpactful because Nunu doesn't have the damage to follow up on that. Actually, he does. He's going full AP. Whatever. Yeah. Syndra is cooking. Don't get hit by anything. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's, just... Let's save them. They're already saved. Okay. Uh, 10. 
Just make it reveal the whole map, why don't you? I should just let her die. <laughs> this game is so annoying because the backup that they receive is like better doesn't describe it better doesn't describe it because they get like a, a truck of damage whereas I get nothing right I don't get any CC I don't get extra damage I just get nothing I gotta play more closely with them so they can actually contribute but we're not good at following up on the plays that I make because every time I make a play, it starts at advantageous for us until the stranger comes in and just one-shots me or something like that. Yeah, we kind of need hooks or the RAT charmer. Otherwise, it's not looking like we can never do anything against her. I'm going to go for a force of nature this match. It's obviously the clear choice. Also, I've not even used my Hullbreaker, so maybe I'll just like sell it later on into the game. Even a cleaver will be better than this. I don't know. The thing is, the resistances have actually helped me quite a bit, right? Because some of these plays, I could not do them without the resistances. So it's not terrible. I'll keep it, I'll keep it. I'll keep you, little boy. I'll keep you, doggy. Okay, Thresh is actually popping off. That was actually huge for the Thresh. See, that's what happens when you follow up, man. How did Ari get soloed? Whatever happens. She gets her turn name. God! Psycho, not the least. This was so huge. Like, these kills were so huge. But we lost all that tempo, man. Come on. How is it even feasible for it to die to Sid, like, Sivir? Can't she just, like, spam dash away? What's she gonna do? Run after her, she could just dash over walls, that's it. Like, tuck, tuck, tuck. Does she have that much damage? <clears throat> we still have our flash to work with, so that's good. Oh, okay. Poppy actually saved me there, which is funny. Because otherwise, I would have just gotten one shot. Oh my god. Of course, it's warded. Of course it's warded. Of course everything's warded. Of course we have nothing on our team. Man. It's just like we're just getting caught like this. Like that. What are you gonna get sold by the bard? She's gonna die here. She has no ult. They'll just chase her down.
She's about to get sold by the bard. I was thinking, oh, Poppy's gonna get here and get the kill, but no, she doesn't have to. Okay. Oh, that's she wins. I doubt she gets away from Poppy though. The position does not favor her at all. Uh, why is the Nunu down there? Bro, you're not gonna get it before them. Gonna run down anyway. They got the Gwen. Him going full AP was such a like a horrifying decision, honestly. He straight up just gets one tap by everyone on their team. So we can't really utilize him as a like a frontliner. Okay, he'll get it. I gotta just pick some sort of crazy side lane play. And then try to flash in the Syndra to kill, but she has her Zani's Hourglass, right? Doesn't it? There's so much difference I have to overcome. Things were still pretty strong, right? We're insanely powerful right now. Never but, intrigued. like, one super powerful guy can't beat three powerful people, you know, in League, at least. Or, I guess, in any setting. Naturally, that's warded. They're so worthless, man. Just watch me play the game, what are you? God. I'm just sitting here taking everything. Not a single ability tossed at them. It was just wishful thinking that this game would go our way, given that the Sinjur was this fed. Bot lane was getting outdone this hard. Thresh is KD. I don't even know how this guy got KDA, because I've only seen him down in one good play. And Nuna just entered the whole game because he went AP instead of tank. Like, if he went tank, we could straight up use him here, right? Tank is good here. Because he went AP, we had to end the game, like, by five minutes ago. And when it didn't go that way, then it was just lost. In any case, hard fork game, but it unfortunately didn't go our way. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, alright, we're back to our gameplay. We're up against Rengar Top. He's running with the Ignite, so he's actually going to be a threat in some situations, but so long as we play it in terms of, like, we, we should play it carefully in terms of giving him a space earlier on. Once I get him at level 3, it should be quite simple to kill him, but yeah, let's try not to fight him too much in the bushes, shall we? <clears throat> in any case, an extra is calling, and our level 6 ultimate should be enough to beat him if we do get cheese earlier on, so... I don't really have too many fears about the lane. But, again, we do have to let go of the first uh, wave crash into our turret. Can't do much about it because they'll just jump on us and chunk us for half our health at best. And at worst, just kill us slash take our sums. My destination is clear. The thing with Rengar is that his level 1 is so disgustingly strong that you really don't want to mess with it at that point. Later on, once you get all your abilities, you actually have room to stop him from doing his trickery. But for now... We don't have such things. So yeah, I'm going to stay out of his jump range for as much as I can. <coughs> there you are. I have my orders. Yeah, back in my old days, <laughs> I am quite acquainted with, I was quite acquainted with how Ranger and Cheese lanes are released, so, yeah, I'm gonna not fall for this one. I've kind of forgotten to hydrate, so I might sound a bit dry this match. I'll take it. Opposing me. Nice. 
Thank you. Stay alert. He kind of gave up and let us have the kill though, so he didn't use any sums. Should be a little careful of that. You like that, sweetheart? You like that, sweetheart? You guys like that F W flash away? That's my favorite trick to do on Darius. <laughs> Oof. Nice. Let's run back in. Try this on for size. <laughs> Let's go. I should have the advantage here, due to my double buff. Also my kill lead, two kill lead. Yeah, I'm gonna get him off this wave. I miss my W. I should've just let him bleed, I should've just let him bleed, I should've just let him bleed. I thought he'd like, get a W or a Q or something. Also, my all range was higher than his. But I I think my mistake there was I didn't wait until my all attack came up, right? Because his all attack was up at that point and mine was still waiting. So he got his all off faster than me. Yeah, that was bad. Can't believe I got cheesed like that, man. That was horrifying. Whatever, let's get back into it. Also, the little tabo gives him so much more attack speed than me, right? So, should just let him bleed. That was so dumb. Destination is clear. <laughs> An ally has been slain. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a Q in or something. At the very least, stop him from farming so he can get the plate. So, yeah, I was gonna ward, but it's kind of pointless because Evelyn has her invis. Stay alert. Yo. Never retreat. I was ready to go, man. Whatever. There we go. Good job. Good job. Who's good Nunu or Willump? Who's good Willump? Kind of confusing because... Not confusing. I'm, I'm just not that good with names. But the big guy is Willump. Nunu is the name of the child. So 
Hello, I don't know. He just seems like a like a the 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 Yeti seems like a nice cuddly creature. Yeah, he must be annoyed because we're basically getting camped by the right. I appreciate the support. Let's go for a freeze then. What's in here? <clears throat> That's flash gone. That's all gone. Let's get some HP. You want back in? <laughs> I respect it, honestly. <laughs> I would get more control wards. Because yellow wards aren't doing it on their own. Blue Ward can actually be helpful because I can ward Evelyn's camps directly from lane. So if I kind of have the right read on her, I can tell where she is through just warding her camps. Or the various can tell where she isn't, right? Is <clears throat> that going? Now fight mid. That ought to be fun. I have my order. On the bright side, we've kind of taken care of the Evelyn quite effectively. We've killed her twice already, so that's good. And this is a disgustingly long freeze, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to keep it for as long as humanly possible. With overwhelming force. We should be stuck here. I should have waited, probably. But I don't know, he had a pretty long warning, didn't he? Let's show this so I can help the Nunu. Good. <coughs> Ward's up. He's got a clip, so... Fairly certain with the next hook, I'm just gonna straight kill him. The Eclipse saved him. Man, this guy's actually pretty good at Ringer. <sighs> I have to respect him more than that. And man, I mispredicted the invisibility location. I should have waited for him to jump and then gone for the flash cube. Then I could have maybe killed him. Yeah. You gotta just respect him a bit more there. More than that. The Eclipse shield also, man. I was so not What? I kind of need Merc Chats here, but I want the armor for the lane, so I'm going to go for Death Stance. And when I'm starting to fight, the rest of the enemy team will go for a uh, Merc Chats. But yeah, I mean, I'm quite impressed here, actually. Good job, bro. Good job. We're kind of winning on every front, though, so I doubt we're going to lose this match, but still. They could do something. Strength above all. Shut down. 
Oh. <laughs> Gotta kill 2v1. Let's just get out of here. He WW'd all of our damage there. So that was fun. The W's are quite tough for us to go. To overcome. Let's just leave it. He straight up WW healed all the damage back. Keep shoving. If I can keep on the turret, it's gonna stop him from roaming. That's good for us. Stay alert. Never retreat. Are you serious? Of course. God, I hate Evelyn. Yeah, I'll play the the charm thing too, but it doesn't matter. Why is Rakan here, by the way? Okay, the game is messed up then. I guess I gotta go deal with the Malphite. I don't think I can. He's gonna be too tanky for me to kill. Oh, I have a Sharbaker. Well, no one's up to the task, so I gotta be. As Leeson says, we do what we must. This is a complete mess, isn't it? Not gonna lie, guys, I kinda miss the old Leeson voice actor. Like, the old Leeson voice actor was, I think, one of the best voices in the whole game. But they just kind of ruined it over some stuff, some controversy with the actor. One of those, like, accused things where they just accuse him of something and it kind of just led to Riot removing him from the role. Kind of gross, that's how it works in the industry, but... Eh. All I'm going to say is I am not happy with the new Lee the voice actor at all. But it is what it is. It's hard to follow up on a work. It's like, you know, I, I I don't really know the saying, but apparently there was this one Finnish or something like ski driver or ski person that did it so well that the saying was to go skiing after him. I, I, I'm messing that up, right? I'm messing it up. I don't think it's skiing, but whatever. I don't remember the exact saying that much, but it's like when the guy before you did such a great job. Going after him means you're going to look terrible in comparison anyway, even if you do okay, you know? I kind of wanted that ward here. Not going to lie, mate. Lie, mate. I will not Sorry for Macaulay, we are full AD. So... I hope she's good enough. I mean, she does enough damage to kill the... The Malphite. Can't walk up because the other one will just kill me quickly. Gotta wait until I see her on the other parts of the map. My destination is I have my orders. Ooh. That's no good. I doubt I can reach her in time to impact anything. But at the very least, I'll get mid farm, so I'm quite kind of happy with that.
Gonna run in here. My instinct was to go up there because there was going to be a fight there with them collapsing the killer, but with the dragon up, there's a good chance there. Wow, I stand corrected. My initial instincts were correct. But still, it's not like I can catch up to them, could I? Stay in the Invis! And she's dead. Man, I was looking forward to a multi-kill situation, but they got the Rengar on their own. Well, we trade the Akali for the Rengar, and we get Dragon, so it's worth it for us. They have more gold, and I get my Death Stance. Let's recall, get our death stance, and then start actually playing with decent mechanics. I've been playing poorly this entire game, in my opinion. Not at all like how I should be playing it, so... Let's start crunching the enemy team. Also, he's dead. Yeah, that was the wrong direction to go in. Oh man, the flank, the flank. A lot of potential here, though. A lot of potential. I will not rest. Right. Well, I am here. Good enough. Well, at least the Eve didn't go in on anyone. I should have given those to her. She, I may have her buff right. Carlos Cole is real. He just got that too. Is that for the stats? That's her dead. It's not good. And we have a pretty good fight, but they just have so many team fight abilities that we haven't like gotten out. That if they play it properly, they can just wipe us, even though we're stronger. Yo, can you not self-report like that? This little rodent. Hmm. Wanted to see if I could get her flash by just queuing like I was gonna queue flash. I do not tolerate Should go for someone else, not the Kaisa, but I mean, I was like, you know. I wanted to go for the Kaisa, but then I realized that my flash was just not worth it, given how she's not that much of a threat. Honestly, given that both Nunu and Evelyn are good smiters, that was close. But I think Nunu is the king of smiting. He can get it at like 2.2k, right? Yo, I was, I was gone, man! Oh. I think they have it, they have it, they have it. Nice! It's just the three of them, good. 
Well, the two of them. The bot lane kind of tried to help, but they were too late. Perfect. Now if I about to slap some meat. Okay. Let's get in here. Oh god. I just sneezed RL twice. Might be a little ill. safe good let's run down here and secure our dragon I have my orders. Got a bit disorganized there, but didn't matter. Me and Akali put them down eventually. Good. Stay alert. Gonna end here or I don't know, I wanna peel away some more turrets. Or not, we're just straight sending it, okay. Things are not really in position to end it. Right, we need the Ez to be there quickly, and he's just too far away to make this. And work. Not flaming him, but it's just a positional thing. Ezreal has no mobility on the map. But yeah, we got the first down. This should be it. I'll just focus on it again. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Don't leave the. Don't don't do it. Don't don't leave us, man. He's coming after you. That should be enough at the end. All right, I'd say that's pretty much it for this match. I'll see you boys in the next one. Sorry for the bad gameplay. Peace out. All righty, we're up against you on top. Let's get right into it. I'm running this setup right here. It might be Sai on top, but the Yon banned Renekton in champs. Like for those of you who don't know, and this did get messed up because you can change slots in the pick order. But basically speaking, the bands in the top row of champ select correspond to which player did them. So the first ban is done by the first player. So through that logic, the Yon was the one who banned the Renekton, which means that he's the top laner. So yeah, I'm going to be gearing up to fight him. Put the hoodie on, bro. Put the hoodie on. Something people don't know about me is that when I first started League, I used to be a Rengar main. <laughs> like this was way back when I was like a teenager. I used to watch all the old Night Blue videos and stuff. Uh, as cringe as it is now, I look back on it with some nostalgia, so I don't mind it. Oh! Alright, I'm just gonna recall here. I hope I don't lose minions because I overstayed there. Rengar got the kill. Okay, that's perfect. We get the early Rengar stack, which should snowball him. Or start the snowball. Rengar is entirely kill reliant in a solo queue, but if you know how to play him, there are a lot of sources of kills. Never. I'd say if you're starting out with League, Rengar is one of the better junglers to get to diamond with at, for your first time. If you're a jungle player. For top lane, I think Darius is a great choice. Such bravado, but you're fooling no one. 
We'll see about that. See, he thinks he's talking to Darius, but he's talking to Lanius. So, yeah, let's see what he's made of. Kind of surprised that Q didn't land. I should have gone for a hook. I thought he'd be my melee range already, so I could go for a W and kill him, but... Hook would have better guaranteed the fight. But then again, he could also kill the minions and get his ult anyway, so maybe not. Gotta play this real slow. <laughs> Strength above all. See what Fiddle's up to. Done. Done. Okay. <clears throat> Just doing some recon for Rengar. Let's get back top. Shouldn't be in a position where I lose any minions. Didn't take too long. Seriously, bro. Oh, that's not good. Just leave, you don't want to die too. Man, I played that horribly, but I missed, I, I dodged like every Q there, so it didn't do any damage to us. Gotta get this to push into me, because this is not a great spot. Go for an all in. Okay, we lost the ghost there. Do not die. Here. He gets his ult quite soon. Good. We got hit by that. We might be able to. I mean, he might be able to kill us. Okay, that really, I, I was kind of expecting to flash his ult or something like that, but he literally just auto-attacked me. So I'm, I'm really confused about that. Okay, whatever, whatever. Like, <laughs> sometimes I just get freaked out by what's happening. I think what happened was he expected me to do something fancy, so he got confused, and then that confused me. But because we're playing the champion that, like, like, I mean, we're playing Darius, which is simpler than Yon, we could just, like, you know, kill him the second we got our ultimate. Like, I was planning on killing him with the ult when I got it from the wave anyway, but, like, <laughs> this was just weird. He didn't even ult. He could have killed me if he just, like, threw everything in there, you know? But, alright. Kill to our name. Let's try to be careful here. He does have his ultimate up. Rengar is trying his best mid lane. Is Scion mid really that tough to put down? We have a LeBlanc mid, what? 
You'd think she could just like poke him out or something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bro. Rengar is dead there anyway. Not much I can do to change that. I'd rather just let him be. May he fold into the next life in peace. If I W'd, I could have actually followed up. How did he go for the cannon, but he literally just didn't? That lands on the cannon there? Huh. Okay, I don't want to put myself in a position that the fiddle can easily will me at. So I'll chill for now. Could go mid, but the sand can also get away from us. My destination is clear. Storm of blades. I'm assuming fiddle spot side now. Got body down there. We're just the ringer. It's fine. This guy's just playing to farm. Well played, honestly. Yeah, he played that really well. He played that well. I can't believe I fell for that, man. I should've known, I should've known. If I just went for the like, flash right click, that would've been way safer. Without the Q even. Does he reach? Yeah, he can't. <laughs> he can't dodge point and click attacks of that, can he? All right. What's their damage looking like? They got a hefty amount of AD damage, but then the Fiddle Six just like Messes the whole situation up, like, build-wise. I think it's best to go Tobbies anyway, but they have a lot of CC, don't they? Yeah. I should've gone for Warden's Mail here, instead of rushing the offensive items. Warden's Mail would be, like, amazing into this match, actually. Into him, it would just win me the lane instantly. Into her. Maybe not the sign too much, but Warden's Mail does give, like, 40 armor, so it's gonna be useful anyway, right? So yeah. I'll just hope I don't mess it up again. They will regret opposing me. I don't want that trade. Take that longer. Not the best trade, but it is a trade at least. Good. Now I hope the Sion doesn't get here. Oh man, like he could actually just roam up here. Yeah, I just saw that he has like 100 health. <laughs> I was half expecting like the Scion as he's just running top, you know? Hmm. Let's just finish our Starbreaker. Get the armor. This should be good enough. What's happening down here? Oh, 5 and 0 Kaisa, man. Not looking good for us. Oh, this should be a bunch of kills. Oh, never mind. That's a clone. Alright. 
Wait, how'd she die? He had a hundred health! Oh. Yo, why are you pinging me, man? Why are you pinging me? Wanna swap or something, or what? I could swap. Yeah. Go on this fiddlesticks here. This is fun, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. I was kind of waiting for it to get into position, but I should have gone earlier. In any case, the Zanyas would have stopped us from killing him long enough to a point where, like, you know, the team would have got there anyway. We just didn't anticipate the four-man. And I guess I'm going to deal with this Simon. Let's, <laughs> let's try to. I mean, there's no world where Scion kills me in an all-in, but there is a world where I kind of blow all my sums for nothing. This should be a dead Scion. Oof. I'm surprised my hook didn't hook him out of the air there. Is this even killable? Got Reconnell to maybe this. Oh my god. That was the least effective Reconnell I've ever seen. Okay. Woo! That was good. Alright, she does want to swap. Okay, I'll go bot then. <clears throat> Bang. Should be fine. I don't see Sion killing us at all. I mean, it's gonna be a bit tough because I don't have my ultimate here, right? To put him down. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Yeah, homeboy is struggling, Annie. What? Bro, what? He straight up just one comboed me, man. What is that? God, I didn't expect him to just sit in this bush and charge a Q. If I saw that coming, I would have maybe done something about it, but man. He straight up just one comboed us like that. How fed is this guy? <laughs> Alright, fine. I, I guess I spoke too soon. This guy's trying his hardest to win this game, by the way. Rengar is, like, playing out of his mind. Yeah, I doubt they can even... Dude, he's exhausted. You're doing 200 a Q. Should be a kill, at least. Yeah, there you go. Eventually, but they got the kill. You know, so that's good. Yeah, this one's gonna be a complete mess from the looks of it. I do not tolerate cowardice. Let's get down here again. There are my sums, so my effectiveness in the fight will be a bit diminished. No, no. Moving on your mark. 
Okay, that's perfect. He straight up just mobbed her like that. Okay, that works for us. I'll go for it, I'll go for it, I'll go for it. simple how do you have a bounty at that point <laughs> is he constantly dying or right, you can have it the the flare was not necessary okay the flare was completely unnecessary Make no let's go for our boots and then a pickaxe I do cringe at buying Merc Treads given the damage we're up against, but honestly, nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's straight up not worth it. Like, I do get that the CC is going to be super annoying to deal with now, right? But in this situation, if I don't go more armor, I'm just going to die. Like, Sion's already one shot at me, right? So I have to go for the option that makes me more durable against him. Okay. Let's go. Why didn't you just fight them? I'm on my way here and you just went back? Ah. Alright. You get her? Nope. Back down bot lane. Don't get ulted. What? Bro, he charged Q on the, the spawn point from the the Hex thing. This guy's insane. <laughs> like, completely insane. And I love it. <laughs> ah. I would expect him to be useful. <sighs> Whatever. The thing is, the fiddle was like ulted for me from right here. So maybe a tiny bit of help, and I could have served long enough to ult the, ult the pike. And then the fiddle, and then the kaiso. Oh well. Yeah, the fiddle will kind of burst me down because I don't have measures anymore. I never had it. So. This should be a free kill. Good, good. Let's get blue ward. It's more useful than yellow ward because I don't even get into range to ward the important spots, right? I just get killed. We can potentially pop off quite hard. It's just that, like, this is quite a, a cheesy game because of what the Scion is doing, right? So we kind of have to play it way more carefully than usual. Let's get in here. Yo! They still have a turret here, man? Also, I messed that up. Auto attack up, didn't I? Yeah, I, I kind of get where Ringar is coming from because Rakan basically just watched him die. Nice. Alright. You and Rakan are cooking now, so that's good. He thankfully held the fiddle and the Kaisa, like, in one place long enough for me to actually get in there and do something about it. He's gonna ultimate, isn't he? The thing is, <laughs> he does so much damage with that ultimate that nobody even dare to get in the way of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoever he ulted aside from just me would die, like, instantly there. Hmm. Let's get some magic for this and go for this distance. 
We're doing quite well against the rest of the team, honestly. It's just the fiddle is taking me down quite easily because of his mixed damage. If I like get caught by a good fiddle ult, I, I just die instantly, so I wouldn't die there almost. Sums are up, sums are up, sums. I have my order. Ah, if that Q lands, I kill the pike there. <sighs> Should just let him be. Meanwhile, the three of the rest of the team can't deal with this Scion, right? Look at these donor heads. I have my sums there. Things have gone a lot differently. That that was in range. <laughs> that was pretty like quick and simple. <laughs> no no effort at all, just a, a free little kill there. Yeah. That sucked. I got my ghost up in 30. Bro. Guys. A kill. Okay. Okay. He still's got. <sighs> Man, it feels like we have like two less players on this team, you know. Because, I don't know, Rengar is obviously carrying, right? Then I'm doing something, then Rakan is trying to help us. Though his timing could use a bit of work, but again, he's trying, right, at least. And then, and then that's it. It's like a 3v5. Straight up. And me being busy with a teamfight means I can't actually stop this Yon from scaling, so he's just had all the time in the world to farm up and scale to being a problem anyway. So this is definitely not the best situation to be in. Not too optimistic about our chances, but um, I'll try anyway. Bro, what are you doing? I okay. Do not tolerate cowardice. Can you just farm your auto attacks? Sorry, bro. Rakan's too busy side laning. It's a 3v1. Surely we can do something here, right? Hmm. He doesn't have a uh, shield, though. Should we kill? Okay, live, live! Bro, the invisibility! Ugh. Dude, I tried, man. I should have gone the Kaiser instantly, but she just went invis. Ugh. Yeah, that sucked. <sighs> the invisibility, the Zonny's Hourglass. This is not looking too well. Also, yeah, he's gonna kill them both, isn't he?
Maybe he'd like ult. I mean, he'd do that behind him. Right? That both dodge the Q and also do the CC. Two kills. I mean, it's obviously not good the situation we we're in, but at least we got some kills in retaliation, right? And I really need a Destiance ASAP. Was that guess, man? Get back, get back. Why are we doing the okay? Whoa, just let me ult him. God, all right, I could have actually killed the Kaisa there, man. <sighs> That's unlucky. We keep killing the same two people on their team, man. The rest just have such clean kill, <laughs> like KDAs. Ugh. All right, we'll have Destiny by the time we spawn back, so... We actually spent some gold. We haven't actually bought anything for like the last five, ten minutes. Because I'm stuck with this inventory spacing. That's what happens when you buy a lot of components early and don't finish them out. Yeah, you're pinging Yone? Like, <laughs> I don't get this because we just swapped halfway through, right? And Yon has had free farm against her the entire time. My destination is clear. God, whatever. Oh, he should be dead here. He just jumped into our old team. Nice. I do not tolerate right. cowardice. That's a pick. Nice. Good reset. Okay. Oh, man. Bro. I already ulted, man. It just reset because I went to level 16. Try to pick up a force of nature. Nice. Okay, that's good. Maybe he's actually gonna start being a threat to the enemy team. Bro, why are you why are you falling back? Why are you falling back? Just 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 take the portal and kill them. Or something. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. They stopped. Good. 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 Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh. In here. Bang. He, he he came in for seconds, guys. Come on. He's a hundred health. 
Don't die, don't die for it. He died for it. No. Alright, it's just starting to cook at least, so that's good. We have to be careful of the fiddlesticks. Oh, wait, why are we doing Baron? Baronar's dead. Ooh. That's how you do it! That was Death Dance diff by far. <laughs> that was like a such a hard Death Dance diff. One seconds, boy. He's all tucker down. Okay. I'll just go from first and heart here. Gotta finish something, right? The thing is, if I went for the force of nature here. I could only get the the extra magic resist. Fix the wave, man. Okay. Kaiser just popped off. Pretty hard. Also, that magic resist seems a bit. <laughs> I think that's just from the the rock solid damage I've had the whole game. It can't be just the force of heart from that little fight. But yeah, force of heart. I mean, force of nature is definitely on the must buy list right now. They don't have a single ward between the two of them. Nice. That was good. If you just queue that properly, that might have actually gone nicely with the dragon. Man. <sighs> Getting the hex deck sold to them is so bad. Yeah, the Rengar kind of got caught, but I'm not gonna flame him like this LeBlanc. Bro, you're just starting to be useful. Rengar's been like holding the entire game, like for the entirety of the early game, so I think he's the last person to deserve any sort of flame for anyone. That should be a kill. <laughs> the other way too. Yeah. Should get like a bolo or something at least. Okay, the empowered one said he could stun the or root the scion. My destination is clear. in here. I'm a ghost up for the upcoming fight. Cowardice. 5k? That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I entered, I entered, I entered. I thought I could go for a pick on the Kaisa. That's my bad. Uh, that sucks, man. I kind of lost us a game that we could have just won. Anyway, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Alrighto. We're back with some more Darius gameplay. Up against Jay's top. Let's get into it. He's running phase rush, so we gotta be really careful with how we use our bows. Tick, tick, boom. Strength above all. 
Actually, let's get armor. It's better for the lane. Lost both our sums, but I do believe that's kind of worth... <laughs> that was so tilted. That, that's a tilt flash. He wanted to get a kill to kind of make up for me getting a kill. Bro. We are not cut from the same cloth, my guy. Well, that's a kill on the Evelyn early, which is huger than me getting a kill, honestly. Because we can't snowball this lane unless he sucks. But Evelyn, she can snowball the whole game. So, um, assuming that the Evelyn has more than five games of Evelyn in her lifetime, this should be a slam dunk of a match. But let's not speak so soon. Now, given our team, I might have to play a more peely role for the Jinx. Like, pick up the Hecarim and kill him before he can kill her. That kind of role. Starbreaker, Demand's Plate. That's what we're looking at. Actually, no. They have a pretty decent amount of AP damage. I'll definitely need to have some magic for this before I start roaming. Shocking. And the kill XP was definitely something, huh? Gotta keep the wave here. I was trying so hard to stop him. Well, that's unfortunate. I think he got it off the first time he went down there. I should have predicted it. That's on me. No. At least the wave being here allows me to go for a kill when my ghost is up. So that's good. I'm sorry, but you're not even in range to flash proc that charm. I will not rest. So that ain't working. And we're getting some gold, but dude, she just you just gotta leave. Actually, you gotta leave. Yeah. What was that, man? The angle of that was so messed up. Oh, that sucked. Waste of a ghost. Worst part is I didn't even get like five stacks, so that trade is not worth it. <clears throat> and I'm tanking these like nobody's business. Excellent. If I have the mana, I might be able to <clears throat> Q flash RW ult kill him. I do not or just W kill him. I'll leave this here. 
to maintain the position of this wave. I get that I'm sacrificing a great deal of gold here, but I can't push up. You know me, Papa. That might have been a tilt ping because we wasted so much time top. So, um, yeah. I'll take it as a compliment though, because that was pretty clean. Right, the voices in my head and the commenters will be commenting to themselves about this in the future, but won't be responding to me. Because this is being pre recorded. But, okay, why didn't you stream? Because I don't want to. <clears throat> My destination is clear. That should be a kill. Now, I didn't specify for which team it, it would be a kill for, so I was technically correct with my prediction. <laughs> oh, why are we laughing? Should be crying. Sup, more? Did you guys kill the cannon already? There we go. Finally. You also have health them with that RWQ. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I deserve that one. <clears throat> I deserve that one. Completely and utterly. The thing is, if the hacker was there, I could have killed him. Under turret. The second he swapped into his, like, range form, RWQ auto ult would have just killed him. But, um, yeah. I should have seen the Hecarim coming. I will not that should be a kill. Rest. Yep, we'll go mid then. Keep the lane. Yeah, this should be a slam dunk. No, Jace can't get away. I don't think the Hecarim can even save him here. Dude, just ult, just ult, just ult. There we go. Wait, which ping did he mean to do? Bro, we're synchronized. Let's get this crab. Pick up some mana that I lost doing it. Back top. It's a little mind blowing that I'm out CSing him. But I guess it makes sense because the other one kind of zoned him from CS for like half a minute. I, at least, I, no, an entire minute, I'm willing to bet. Because she stayed around here for like a while. Funny. Funny, funny ability, funny man. Um, try to go the other way, I guess. Ooh. We got him, we got him, we got him. Stay alert. Let's get some platings. Or one plating. My destination is <sighs> what skin even is that? 
high noon. They did the whole scythe thing on like the Reaper Hecarim skin. So that's some originality, isn't it? They should give him like a like a sword or like a Darius axe, you know, spice things up. Because I get that you got to like when you're designing these skins, you got to keep the silhouette the same. But I would say Hecarim's um, character model is pretty unique enough to the point where you could give him like a gun in terms of his model and he'd still have like no way would confuse him for any other champion, you know? All good. My orders. I'll get this wave, get the ward. <laughs> Make no mistakes. I want to see if I can go bot lane, but I guess not. That all range. Uh. <laughs> bye bye, bye bye. Choose. I'll be the same. That doesn't sound good. Or look good. And now we leave. We got a Shirebreaker Gold, so that's good. We gotta pick up some magic for this, though, before we start dealing with the other members of the enemy team. Should do it. Hmm. I'll get a long start for now. Cause I'm not sure if I want like death stance here or Sterax. Sterax would be the safer choice, I'm assuming. So that's what I'll aim for. So can't the Zed just obliterate him with his ult? How does he solo Zed? Okay, let's get down here, because they'll certainly run after the Melio for a kill. Never mind, didn't know the entire perimeter is more warded out than the Korea border. Exhaust 2, man? Alright, my bad for roaming, guys. I just won't do it again. Yeah, their range is absurd. And I need more magic resist. Do I even, like, have time for anything else? I gotta tank up if I'm gonna do anything against them. Choices. Kind of need, like, a source of damage, honestly. Damage heavy item and then go for, um... To know the sweet tank items. Okay. I'm on my way, sweetheart. Was he still, like, burning? Was he just AFK? Okay, that's another one. Can I say, I love playing Darius. That was perfect! We did that perfectly! Yo, can you be a useful support? Why? Oh, 
Nice. They should kill the Hecarim too, so that's good. I'll pick this wave up. Jinx is dead. We also get the top turret. No, we don't. I suppose I'll run up there. Oh, she wants it. Okay. I'll stay bot. 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 <laughs> English. Mm. I definitely need as much moves here as possible. That much is like a given. Imagine me chasing after the Kamar, but instead I have to deal with like a, a Ziggs constantly pestering me with damage. That's just like a death. That should be a kill for us. Never mind. I'll go for Sterex. Death Chance is a horrible choice this match. They just have too much damage. To not go Sterex. Yep. Yeah. Better choice to move the Jinx mid. Got my flash up in like 20, so... I should be able to pop off. Provided the Karma doesn't have exhaust. Of course they ward that. Guys, it's not even a spawn yet, so they're gonna do it and just move to the dragon. We're just gonna do the Darius camp. Well, for one, I suppose. I thought they were too committed for the Herald, that they they would kill me after they got it. But they just went for me instantly. I guess we just trade kills and an objectives. Wonderful. Guess we're going bot lane. Should have taken the portal. My destination is clear. <laughs> Good. Never retreat. Yeah. The vision score on her must be crazy. Has anybody cleared wards in the side of the map? At all? I, will not rest. I feel like they're so unclear that there's like a, a blue ward everywhere. And it's like... That's the first thing you clear if you just walk through the bush. Is she alive? Good. Good. Either, don't they? That's unfortunate. Make no mistakes. I get the turret. Yeah, don't don't walk back in. I'll try to get to the Baron, but with the Evelyn dead, there's not much we could do to stop them aside from killing them. The five. Yeah, they're definitely doing it. Oh, they just got off? Were they trying to stealth it? I don't see that. Your team has destroyed the turret. 
get the wave and go top side. Go sandwich them. That's him dead. I don't think I played that that well, but man, kill the hacker room, got the zigs out of the way. The Zonny's hourglasses have really ruined my tempo. Mm, not good. Gotta get both like resistances at the same time. I'll get Force of Nature first, and then hope I can build this into something significant later. Don't think I want to shut him with my ultimate. <laughs> Bro. Well, at least we know that she has an ultimate. Yeah, I get that. Ari's really messing all us all up, isn't she? Well, that's one kill. Get out before you get pop. Okay. As long as the Evelyn's alive, we have a decent shot at fire them here. She's gonna get collapsed on and killed. What is this? Okay. At least she didn't go on the other more squishy champions who can't take her damage. I love range, I love range, I love range. Well, I'd say just let the melee die, but... Yeah, good enough. We get the dragon, we get some kills, it's a trade. That's a little ambitious, isn't it? Quite ambitious. This match sucks so hard because team fights are like really difficult for me to play through. Ari just completely messed up anything I can do, right? She's annoying and I can't kill her. She's got mobility, the CC, everything that I just can't really fight against quite effectively. And it doesn't really help that the Karma and the Ziggs are so high range. So we're basically in a, a bit of a pickle here. It's... I don't even think I can get much done with my Flash, right? Unless we get their abilities down first. Ooh. Nice! Alright, they kind of entered. Okay. <sighs> we got the Karma, couldn't get the 6 because of Zonny Zarglass. Dude, it's just a ward! What are your cats? Like... You see the ward, you, you gotta... You gotta, gotta Gotta kill it, man. <laughs> it's not gonna change anything. I mean, I guess they, they wouldn't get away anyway, right? They'd eventually get caught up on. Yeah, it's not his fault. 
That fight went so well for us initially, but God, we just can't deal with the iron, can we? Okay. That's good. Bro, what? Dude, stacking that up ain't gonna change the outcome of this match. I do not tolerate cowardice. Is this? I thought we were gonna fight there. Yeah, I don't think I even put his health bar down noticeably because of the karma shields. Felt quite pathetic there, if I'm being honest. Yeah, the voices in my ears are telling me to just get a serpent's fang. And you know what? I'm gonna listen. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I just hate the shield so much at this point. Hmm. Not the best. I mean, he's the best spreader of the Serpent's Fang. Right. So, alright. What I'm gonna do... Serpent's Fang. I'm gonna ping it. And then leave it at that. They don't kill him there? Yeah, they do. Okay. I have to do that before he's on it. Whew, that took everything I had to make that work. Well, we're gonna get poked down by a karma. Oh yeah, let's go. Actually, she can do it on her own. Don't know for DMP. Brute force it, brute force it. Alright, now let's try not to die. Kinda wanna go bot farm it if I can. I have my orders. If the other one doesn't take it, just taking it, alright, whatever. Gobble it all up, why don't you? Make no mistakes. Yeah. Like the me not getting DMPs like meh enough, but could have gotten a level 16 before this. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Okay, she was good. And this thing is cooking so hard right now. Just into the game. Yeah. 
Yeah, this was my bad. If I live, we could have maybe fought back once we respawned, but when I died, it was just over. I mean, given the long respawn time, maybe we would have lost anyway, but still, shouldn't have died there. Thought we could maybe go for like a kill on the Jason and Jinx reset to kill them all, but whatever. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Alrighty, we're up against Gwen Top. Let's chop her in half with our ultimate. They have a Camille jungle, which should be. <laughs> okay. Um, they have a Camille jungle, which should provide a bit of an interesting challenge to overcome because Camille jungle wasn't a thing for like seasons, right? I get. I guess the mess. The meta is so messed up right now that anybody's playing anything anywhere. But let's see how this does, man. I'm quite, I mean, I'm, I'm quite fascinated at this pick because back when Camille jungle was a thing, she was the most annoying jungler to ever, like, play against because she could do red buff and then just get into your lane. And her hookshot was such a long-range ability that the second you saw her, it was already too late. You could, like, get a, get the gank off instantly. Kind of like how J4 used to be also played to do that. Yeah, I don't think I should be reminiscing about <laughs> those times. <laughs> Why do they say I'm interested? I'm, I'm, I'm horrified that that was ever a thing. But, we have a Gwen to take care of. Let's get into it. What ability did you rank, my dear? Carve a path. <laughs> that works. And that's what I was talking about. She literally did red buff and went for a gank. Instantly after. Dude, I killed her so fast, her health potion from the fight is still ticking. <laughs> wow. Alright. What an interesting little factoid. <clears throat> Ah, I messed up Q up. I mean, we kill her anyway. I wanted to do a W, Q flash out, but I messed it up. I flashed on top of her. So, the thing that would have won me to fight the mechanic didn't go through how I thought it would. Oh well. On the bright side, the lane isn't too messed up. It's, it's, it's bad, right? But it's not so bad that we're going to lose anything significant. Actually, it's pretty good. I thought the cannon would do a lot more. Yeah, it's, this is pretty good. Nice. That's worth it. She loses more than I do, so we definitely have a a solid amount of lead here. Bro, how are you losing to that? Mm. <coughs> fun. Fun, fun, fun. One thing's for sure, I can't really step up because the Camille will just be able to jump on me. What she can do is just go over here and then just... Hook shot onto me. Or even go through this unless she's bored that. So. <coughs> let's play safe for now. Man, Gwen having double off is so bad. I have my orders. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Her ignite's up earlier than mine goes, but I should be able to kill her if we both don't have sums. I'm just stronger. Oh, the auto reset kills me. Man. Honestly, I will take this as betrayal. Because that 90 health would have actually helped me kill her. My destination is clear. Hmm. Let's go for Triforce. Lane's not bad for us here. She definitely gets more XP. She gets all this and I get nothing. Uh... Probably would have been better for me to prioritize 
shoving the lane in. But yeah. The double bluff actually tipped the scales in her favor by just the amount she needed at the end. Because that 90 health is basically the difference between her bleeding to death and me, you know, surviving. Fun. That's a great trade. I should have bought her health bar. Plants. Noxus will rise. Let's stick to the lane. I have to be real careful now because her ult ignite is gonna be really painful to deal with. to the left as well. Thing blocked my hook. We also lose a lot of HP. Make no mistakes. I do my flash though. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess it was about time that she showed up. Right, I was pushed up for so long. Man. That sucked. I have my orders. Surely they killed the chameleon, right? Finally. He gets a kill. It's a good kill too, so I hope that leads to him being strong enough to impact the map. Positively, let's put it that too. But hope doesn't get you too far, does it? Nonsense. <laughs> Sit down and listen up. Mm, not good. My destination is clear. She's got a lot of like stats here. Could have gone for like a flash W or something, but what? <laughs> the Karthus will got her nice. All right, that was lucky. I was planning on trying to kill her undeterred. I'm gonna save my flash for when she has an ultimate up, so that it's like a you know more useful usage of it. We got our Triforce. That's good. Should be able to crunch her down for a bit. Strength above all. Yeah, she gets a crush. That sucks. I guess this is a turret plate exchange. Actually, I guess the one. Now she gets the other one too. The minions are too far away, as am I. Could have maybe a flash hooked her there. She actually damaged this wave. 
So we're not really in the worst position here. I want to level it up and not look the single minion. I was securing this, yes, guys. Down there. Alright. It's not the worst trade. Until I took the third shot. Now it's just an okay trade. What's happening down here, man? Destination is clear. Hmm. We're going for Camille or something. Unstoppable. Good. I thought Karthus is nothing but positive, but it might be tough for him to function this match. Camille will very easily just get on top of him and kill him over and over again. Yeah, Camille is just getting completely bodied on the CS front. Whew. Pop. Get popped. Anyway, what's I even going to say? Oh, yeah, Kha'Zix is doubling the farm of Camille. This is actually one of Camille's known weaknesses if she's going jungle. She can't really farm as well as any other jungler, really. Dude, <laughs> dude, you do not want to go that first item, man. If she had Divine Sunder, the chances of her killing me were, like, really high, right? She had a solid chance to put me down there. But, man, she kind of just... She went, like... She had Ravenous, and then still, still just fought me. Which, I mean, I don't know. Bad choice. Yeah. That's what happens when you pick a weird champ, huh? Get some rub here. Noxus will rise. <laughs> Could actually freeze that, but I wasn't paying attention. I was going to shove it in. Trial Force is doing some cooking, isn't it? I do not tolerate cowardice. I'll leave for the Kazix. I'll shove top and then get back in here to help. Fighting. Let's get down there. An enemy has been slain. This is rough. Kiana Gaming. I think I'm just gonna go get the turret. I have my nice ult. Oh, let's get this quickly. Nice. Oh no, I didn't do it in time. I should have queued up the Sheen and then gone with my RW. Is 
Try for Turk damage, baby. Okay, we got our Sturox. And I'm going to go for Tobbies here. It's the natural choice into so much attack damage. Gwen and Seraphine might do a bunch of AP damage too, so... Yeah... I'm not looking forward to having to get magic resist, but I might have to do it at some point. I'm pretty sure Kiana can one-shot the Camille at this point. Oh, the FF. All right, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back from our gameplay. We're up against Aatrox Top. Let's get right into it. I'm running this setup right here. Gives me some more sustain. <clears throat> now, because he's not taking Ignite, I went for a D Blade. If he had gone Ignite, then D Shield was second would have been vital because it lets us sustain from his long range poke. But because he doesn't have that, we have the upper hand in all in. So I'm going to take uh, Doran's Blade if you don't want the leash. You're not gonna get it. Oh, she's starting here. Okay, fair enough. I suppose Zig can chuck a bomb or two, I or not. I'm pretty sure that's just self-reported where Dana started. If they saw him, right? <laughs> Let's hope they weren't paying attention. Hmm? Either. Let's watch out for cheese early gangs. They also have a decent amount of shield abuse, actually. We don't have anybody that can build Serpent's Fang, though, so that makes things a bit awkward. Do we go for it? Wouldn't that be funny? Got his uh, bone plating. Should be dead there. What saved him? What? He gained 20 health out of nowhere there. Make no mistakes. <clears throat> fun, fun, fun. Get combo here. I do not tolerate. Wait, what? The what saved him? Whatever. Let's try to get in here. I'm gonna elaborate a little fight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would appreciate one of those bombs like any second during that fight I had, because I would have killed one of them. But oh well. Oh well indeed. <clears throat> Let's get up here. Yeah, we lose a lot of minions top due to that roam. If we got at least the iron, that would have been, that would have been great. I think I should not have wasted my hook, so I could save it for the later portion of the fight. Try to maybe get into melee range without it. I mean, I was already, yeah, melee range, I wasted it, straight up. I have my orders. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
Nice about all of them. Let us hope we can kill him in two minutes when both our summons are up. See what the Diana can fish up. Shots there! Yeah, let's just reach the old-fashioned way. Guys, pincer maneuver. Okay, we're dead. Come on! How can both of them roam? Come on, man. Like, I get, like, can't, whatever, whatever. whatever. Terror plates, right? Terror plates. They can't even get any because of how early it is in the match. Wonderful. Well, I mean, we're doing quite well game-wise, if you look at the macro scale of things, but I am not really on the same page with, I don't think, any of my teammates. So, I am not really looking forward to fights. Kind of the Diana. I guess kind of the Diana. Because she kind of got the hint. Let's turn on the Aatrox, right? She kind of got the hint there. So, maybe we do have some hope. The way it's completely doomed, isn't it? The big old reset. I will not rest. If only I moved up. Actually, it goes earlier too. Yeah, I agreed to for my summoner spells. That sucked. Well, time for this bad boy. We all knew where this was heading. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just try to focus back up. Let's try not to have the wave in such a terrible position. Because that was like the whole crux of why we got killed there. Irons. I'm assuming not there. Which means it's probably around here. 
Let's play it safe. We've got a lot of tempo bot lanes, so it's best for us to just win the game off of our bot and just leave me alone. Noxus <sighs> one minion, man. Yep, Ivan's definitely here. He just picked the blue buff up from him. Not sure how much it helps an Aatrox. If we're being real. Are you serious, man? God, he flash shielded him. Why don't you suck him off while you're at it? Sorry, I don't swear in these videos usually. I saw an opportunity for a kill. I went for it. Would have worked if we didn't have flash. Yeah, she's not gonna kill him, is he? She's just gonna die. Uh, wonderful. Wow. Actually dodged something. That's a miracle, isn't it? Wave two. Mm, risky. But at this point, I don't really care too much. <laughs> they will regret opposing me. Blades ain't bad. We're not that behind. Like, we're behind definitely, especially XP wise, but could be a lot worse. A lot worse. Alright. Vivern down there, feeling like a fight could go our way. So giving this guy's history, I doubt he's gonna pick a fight with me, even though he's like entire turret rolled up on me. Should push back. Let's get in here. He actually smurfed on them so hard. Right, let's go, let's go. Can't have them all, can we? We got two kills, so that's good. What boots? They really do. I think at this one too I have my sharper gold. The turret for now, you guys win. The 2v2. The 3v2 at least. If the young comes, then 3v3. Let's go. Might go for a dead man's plate here. Second item just to run around the map and be a, a kill stealing monkey, essentially. Okay. 
Darkness will rise. Gore drinker, man. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen that thing pulled out of the closet. Damn. <laughs> uh, I didn't even want to think about how terrible of, I, of an item Gore drinker is. I think it's arguably the worst mythic in the game. Straight up. I mean, he would have killed me alone anyway. But the Ivern being there kind of just destroyed my spirit. And I'm going to go for the Chain Vest for one of these. I try to dodge the keys, but it's just not possible without the ghost. We're going to play like a bit smarter. Well, I have to. What about the team? Because the team's doing pretty well. Stay alert. Keep taking all fights like alone. Even though if I just work with them, I can literally clean up all the kills because I like. I can have like the glue that sticks together all the kills with my resets, you know? Because these guys do enough damage as is on their own. See, I'm taking the high tech route. High tech. Don't think I can get an 11 from here. I do. Nice. The last minute was just enough. Carve a path. Okay, let's go for it. Oh. Okay. They kind of just ran into the most dangerous person on our team. <laughs> so, I don't mind that. You can get this. They're spawning. Yeah, no, how about... I don't do that. Alright, if Six is coming, then I can we can burst it down quickly. Bro. I'm only here to guard you. I am not here to take the turret. Oh. Yeah, we've gotta fight him. That's him dead. Out of mana. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we just we shared 2v5 their whole team. Oh. Well, that's game over then. Shelly! Shelly dance, Shelly dance, protect Shelly. Nice. Shelly lives to fight another day. Rare, but it's, it's the good ending of League of Legends. Anyway, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Okay, we're back with some more gameplay as Darius top in high elo. This is a full master match, and my webcam was supposed to be there for the video I made on the other channel. But this is the main channel. Anyway, we have the Lanyu skin equipped. I mean, we haven't really come up with an official name for the character, but I'm just going to call him Lanyu's because, I don't know, it's a cool name anyway. I thought that hit me almost. Anyway, 
Mordekaiser top. He's running Flash Ignite, so it's going to be a bit more of a challenging fight. Though, I don't really see a way he can beat us too handily if we play nice and aggressively. <clears throat> and also Dodge Excuse, because that's like the most important part. That one almost hit me. Isn't that aggressive? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, it just instantly <laughs> runs down there. you love to see it. Unless it's something to your jungler. Okay. We got Nolo's top. Uh, you know, I regret having Nautilus mid, who didn't even roam while playing Nautilus mid. <sighs> Whatever. Well, that's her entire top side destroyed. Honestly, I should just left it, because I kind of knew that Zeb was going to be there earlier than him. Yeah. I also missed my Q there, if you guys saw, which would have let me at least have the Warner Crisis kill. Which maybe would have made things not so bad. No. No sums to work with now. <laughs> that was a little lucky, huh? Destination is clear. They will regret Bruh. opposing me. Word up. I do not tolerate cowardice. <laughs> Strength above all. Not really the most important trade ever, but kinda have to get some licks in there. Hey, let's get out of lane here. Yeah, I am not staying, buddy. I will not rest. The thing is, because the wave was slightly pushing towards us, we do win out XP wise. As you guys saw, I came into like a full crash into my turret, and Morkaiser isn't the one who crashed it. Which means that he lost all the minions that were cleared by his minion wave as it was pushing into me. So we do have a lead of XP and kind of gold. I say kind of because these two assists probably make up the kill. So he's like kill gold up on me. But still. In any case, we should be good to go here. Yeah. Okay. Are you serious? You pick a completely worthless support mid pick, and you're getting out roamed this hard, man. Like, this is horrifyingly, like, trash. Like, you pick something cheese like this, you either, you're, you're useful or you're just trolling. Because if you just play bad with a normal pick, it's like, at least you're trying to, like, play the game, right? But if you troll pick and you int, that's like, in my opinion, that's just griefing, right? I think that if you're picking a troll pick, you better play well, or you're just, you know, you should be banned. Stay alert. That's just my opinion, though. I don't know, man. 
I doubt he kills the Zed solo in any circumstance, so he better start ganking or we're gonna be in trouble. I, I also came back in such a good lane too because Mord was half health, so I could basically freeze that or get a kill on my ghost. Now he's actually ahead of me. Fun, fun, fun. He can actually kill us here with Ignite. So you ought to be quite careful with how we fight. I'll attempt to use my ghost to just run away from an ult. Oh, he has so much AP. He might just mob us here. Let's play with a wave. How did that one even land, man? I'll just crash it. Come on! Yes! I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. I didn't know he could W using Q. Like, I, I thought he couldn't W during his Q, like Mordekaiser, but he can, apparently. That's fine, though. <clears throat> I'll most certainly take that. Okay. Let's ward up. If I can get a fight, like, this instant, I should be able to kill him because he won't have his ultimate. <clears throat> Wonderful. I do not tolerate cowardice. The thing is, Kha'Zix can just jump over and walk behind me, so this is a really tough spot to be in. Dad's missing, because X is was top last. Yeah. Given that our bot lane is going for a four man, I am the prime target for whatever's left of their team. I hope I survive. Never mind. Zed's bot. Bro, how did that land? Guess I'm just too thick. I will not I really hope they'd be enough. <laughs> Exploit every weakness. I'm gonna dodge those. Let's get the ward at least. I have my orders. Got the crash and thankfully, if he actually held a freeze, I'd be more so dead. Wait, why is he going back bot? He has no camps. Well, they can actually, they can at least like, get back before the Kha'Zix gets there. Since they saw him on two wards. This one's a bit risky. She's dead. How'd she survive? That's what I want to know. 
Like, she survived quite well there. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to give it to her because I got the Mord kill. She gets the cannon, but whatever. Um... Oh, good job. Yeah, you can have the gold. You help with the hunt, you get a bit of the prize. Nice to get a strawberry car. Is this the changed one? Oh yeah, this is after they made all those changes, right? Oh no, no, no. Right actually reworked a bunch of items. Not reworked, but just changed. Slash reworked. It's like different for every single item they made changes on. Especially assassinators. They completely changed all the assassinators, so I can't really wait to see how this impacts the meta. I'm guessing assassin will just be overpowered because some of the stuff they did to Duskblade and Prowess Clover are just like... Well, Duskblade. It's just kind of insane. But we'll just have to see with our own eyes. Okay. I should be able to body him here. Provided he fights me before the. Riley stopped me from landing my Shirebreaker. But he didn't miss the cannon, so I'm, you know, mission accomplished. Nice. Killed him before the W. He had a split second to do it there, so I was like, alright, I gotta waste my flash or something, but nope. Yeah, messed up a little. Get the turret here. <laughs> Son three and one trees. Staying on any longer else it puts a target on my head for the rest of the enemy team, so let's just uh skedaddle. I wanna go for the Ignore Mordekaiser play through. <clears throat> where you go QSS, and then just build against the rest of his team instead of him. So yeah, QSS, and then I'm just gonna go for Tobbies, then Sterax. Basically just get armored up for the other sources of damage. The thing is, our team has got a lot of Weasley escape, you know, arts, I guess, if you can call it that. Also, there's a good chance he just ults the Nautilus every time. Point is, he won't be ulting me, so I can just focus the rest of his team and work on killing them. And also, because they're mobile, it'll be tough for him to kill them in his ult. There's nothing happening, like, down there objective-wise, so I'm just going to go up here and shove and then move down. That's there, because Zix might be moving. That's no, not good. He crashes all the good. If he was going to freeze, I might have had to go in there and try to stop it, but he didn't, so we're good. We've got an objective to buy for here, so let's hope everyone's ready. Or not. I don't really care that much, honestly. I just don't want them to have it. Okay, Cobb will definitely be around here. The team is kind of gravitated like this. So, let's not go beyond this point. Right. 
cannot read this Kizix. He just goes after he goes after Kizix. It doesn't really farm. Like he doesn't prioritize his farm, which is, I guess, the smarter thing to do. But still. Disgusting character. He actually survives that because of this stupid champion. God. How old? On what planet, man? Should have gone for the Jinx and him instead, but ugh, whatever. Well, that was frustrating, wasn't it? Anymore. Can I just wait for it? Kinda. Yeah, I'll just wait for the chain vest. Ten more seconds, eh? My destination is clear. Okay, let's catch that wave. <clears throat> or whatever is remaining of it. I might go for a dead man's plate with this champ vest instead of the death dance. We'll see, but maybe not. Our team is liking damage because of Nautilus, so it's best for me to go a bit more damagey. Not sure we're gonna lose that dragon there, but that's what it is. No point in fighting. No point in fighting, guys. Uh oh. Well, I'm getting a turret at least, so. <laughs> Whose guy is gonna win? We're doing quite well so far. Dude, hit someone! Hit someone! Oh. That was unlucky. The Kha'Zix W, I'm pretty sure, or something slowed him so he couldn't get into range to attack. Yeah. I'll take that! Almost certainly take that! <laughs> that is actually a huge kill! That is so huge! Out of nowhere, he just chose to evolve right in front of me. You love to see it. Yo, Nidalee! Nidalee! Bro! Bro! Why are you mid lane? We gotta do this because it spawns! Alright, everyone's just... On drugs, I suppose. We sent our herald, they sent theirs. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um, I kind of need the pot healing more than I do the Doran's shield. D shield is just insignificant later on. Like, the healing is practically nothing. So you're better off just selling it whenever you can. For any sort of advantage. Even like the default components are worth more than it. It's not D shield where D shield is actually like an efficient allocation of the 450 gold you spend on it. D shield is um, more so just to give you that early lane sustain. But the numbers on it don't scale really, so outside of like beyond, I don't know, like level 9 or something like that, it's really not that useful. Because all you're getting is like 80 health and some. You know, like a handful of regenerated health. In any case, um, we lucked into securing the Baron for the team. And I do mean lucked into. That was complete luck. I didn't plan for that. Honestly, playing Darius, you kind of just get lucky with players 
not anticipating that you'll kill them all. Go four man. <sighs> Can't say I'm surprised, honestly. Not gonna lie, I'm so sick of seeing Jinx in every match, man. And I rarely see a match where she doesn't pop off. You know? <laughs> the other day I went through my match history and it's like it was something crazy, like seven out of ten games. Where like it had Jinx in it. I'm I'm starting to forget what the other ADC champions do at this point. Gotta go Sterex for the more damage. We need it. Gotta bust through all this somehow. Okay, this one should be a proper fight because we get the some of the team. Also, perhaps the QSS was a poor choice because it's ult gone. Sounds insignificant, but it's more. Okay. He should be dead instantly. Okay. Okay, that's something. Bro, I do not have the move speed for this kind of thing. Okay, not also the pop off. Do you guys like the ult cancel? Not the ult cancel, but the ult auto reset. If you guys didn't pay attention, I killed the Kazakhs with my auto attack after the ult, and I killed them anyway, because I have good attack speed. It's a little trick you can do on Darius. The thing is, it's not that consistent unless you do the ability animation cancel. Because there are automatic, there are attack animation cancels, and there, and there are also ability animation cancels, just like auto animation cancels. Where after an ability, there are useless fl frames that play out. They can cancel by inputting an auto attack. In my Darius mechanics video, I proved this exists, and I actually executed it. So go check that out if you want to increase your level of mechanics. Not just in Darius, because there there are ability animation cancels on every champion in the game. If you can do it properly, you can basically speed up your gameplay by like a significant amount, you know? Because those milliseconds, they, uh, not only do they make things faster, but they also throw off even some of the best players, right? We are farming up pretty nicely. We're not really going on like huge dunk sprees, but in terms of just farming and being a solid source of power for the team, we're doing quite well. Like the m most, I guess kind of the most powerful unit on the game, aside from Jinx. But Jinx has a stupid little milieu helping her, so it, that doesn't count. It's not fair to be won. That landed, man. That's something. Please don't tell me I'm alone. This is bad. 
Yeah, why did I stay? I keep staying for lost fights. I keep doing this. I've done this like twice this game. Where I know the whole team is there. And I know my teammate's gonna die here. But I just stay. It's like the most bronze mistake you can make, man. Yeah, I gotta just let him go. He's not worth saving. Not gonna lie, I just wanna go for like an anathemas on this Jinx. Just out of pure spite. Perhaps a randomness would be better. Yeah. Not a good Baron to give the enemy team. I have to pop up with my next flash. Kill these guys. At least one of them. Because if I can at least one shot the Emilio, the Jinx will be a lot easier to kill because none of these guys are giving her any peel. Right? These guys are selfish. He basically just disappears in his ultimate zone. So... We got target on one of those two. Also, you guys realize that the the interface changed for the scoreboard. <laughs> I, I just noticed it right now. <laughs> Man. Not the hugest fan of chains, but I like that they're actually wait, where's the mute all comms? Where's the emote mute button? Because that's what I used to like. You can report in game? Who needs this? I guess it's not the worst feature, but I, I kind of like the emote muting option. Because it stopped the enemy from doing, like, like jokes and taunts and flashing ma masteries and stuff like that. Because some people are just like, they just lose lane and then they turn into clowns, you know? Like, you, you kill Singe 20 times and he just sits in lane here, <laughs> like, over and over again. <laughs> so annoying. Have to go up there. Guess so. Guess not. Let's head in here. Bro. Alright, I think we just deserve to lose the game. <laughs> Dude, she does way too much damage for me to feasibly tank. It just turns on me and kills me in seconds. <sighs> this is not going well. I think I'm forced to go on a Themis. Not because of like the damage threat too, but because it's like cheaper than everything, right? And we are in a... Not the best situation money-wise. Can Ezreal stop this? Unlikely. Didn't kill anyone in a fight. Well, that's that. I'll see you boys in the next match. Peace out.